Hey everyone, welcome back to All Access Arcade. These days, there are plenty of epic games that you can sink over 100 hours into. Persona 5, Baldur's Gate 3, Tears of the Kingdom, these games all have immersive stories and environments that encourage you to stick around. But we're not talking about those games today. Instead, we're going for the opposite end of the spectrum with games you can beat in a day. Just a quick note, all times for these games were taken from how long to beat, and a game's main story had to clock in at under 8 hours to be considered. First up, we have Unpacking. If you're a fan of organization and sentimental journeys, this one's for you. Unpacking invites you to embrace your inner Marie Kondo and neatly organize the main character's belongings over the course of eight moves. The main story unfolds in a tidy three and a half hours, with extras bringing it up to four. Completionists, get ready to spend four and a half hours making everything just right. Next on our list is a game that will have you questioning the complexities of everyday life, Octodad, Dadliest Catch. In Octodad, you control an octopus masquerading as a human, fumbling through daily tasks with varying results. This game is equal parts hilarious and frustrating due to the wacky physics involved in controlling an octopus. The main story takes two and a half hours, but the extra challenges can extend your playtime to four hours. If you're trying to be Dad of the Year, brace yourself for an entertaining eight-hour adventure. Party Like There's No Tomorrow takes on a whole new meaning in our next game. After Party is the story of two best buds who are on a quest to outdrink the devil himself and get out of hell. Along the way, you'll meet a wild cast of characters and take part in various drinking games. After Party serves up a wickedly good time in about five and a half hours for the main story. Throw in some extra activities and you'll be looking at around seven hours. Get ready for an epic 14 hour party if full completion is your goal. If you're a cat lover, Stray should be at the top of your two playlist. In Stray, you explore a gorgeous neonlit city as a lost cat. In between uncovering the mystery of the walled city and helping the local robots, take some time to indulge in cat things, like a cat nap, knocking stuff over, or causing chaos in the way only a cat can. The main story takes around five hours, with extras bringing it to six and a half. Completionists should prepare for a solid ten hours of feline exploration and puzzle solving. Get ready for an intergalactic adventure with Journey to the Savage Planet. As part of the fourth best space team, you are dispatched to an alien planet with the task of determining whether or not the planet is suitable for human invasion. Uh, I mean, habitation. Uncover the mysteries of planet ARY-26 and try not to die. The main story clocks in at 7 hours and extra exploration brings it up to 11. Completionists, you're in for a wild ride with a hefty 16 and a half hour expedition. Assuming you survive your first night, you will... And last, but certainly not least, we have the whimsical and appetizing Bug Snacks. From the team that brought you Octodad, Bug Snacks serves up a zany and heartwarming story. This time, you're exploring Snack Tooth Island, home of the fabled Bug Snacks. Half snack, half bug, and all delicious. Or so I've heard. The main story takes seven and a half hours, with extras extending it to eleven and a half. Prepare to spend fourteen and a half hours munching on Bug Snacks if you're a completionist. There you have it, a diverse selection of games you can play in less than one day. What's your favorite short game? Let us know in the comments. For more gaming coverage, check out the All Access Arcade blog. Happy gaming!